Hi, yeah. This is what we're going to be doing photography. Uh, I thought the weather's getting nicer. We can go out in the garden more. When you're out on your walk, do or run whatever you're doing for exercise, you can uh, take your photo, your camera with you, take some photographs. Um, if I'm honest, I haven't used my proper camera because I wanted this to be accessible to everybody, and I have just been using my phone for what I've been doing. So this is just a regular Android phone. I think it's about five years old. This one, so it's not even top of the range, um, and I've managed to get some really nice shots um, even without using a DSLR or um, a, a fancy HD camera so yeah so that's where I'm at so we're going to do a different one each day this is fun this is about having fun with photographs and playing with images rather than just taking those conventional shots that you might normally take and that's not saying there's anything wrong with a family shot you know sitting on the beach or oh we wish um, but <laughs> this is about being a bit creative and having a bit of fun so each video each day um, we'll have a little bit of me at the beginning, not much, you'll be glad to hear. Um, and then I'm actually going to show you a series of shots with a voiceover of how I've done it, which hopefully um, will help you. But the idea is it's about getting you to be creative, not do what I've done, just think outside the box and do something a little bit different. Okay, so today we are doing down low. So that's getting right down on the ground and looking up. It's finding another perspective, another way of looking at the world. And you can get some beautiful, beautiful shots doing it, as you will see. Here we go. Okay, so this photograph is a building in Barcelona. This is the inside, um, and it's a photograph I took. I literally stood right back so that I could get as much of it in and really show that linear perspective. So that's the inside of the building. This is the outside of the building here. Um, and here, I tucked, rather than stepping back and looking up, I tucked myself right into the building, then leant back so I could get that really steep um, kind of look to it. Um, really, really lovely with that blue sky as well, which contrasts. This one you may recognise, it's the dockyard. Um, and again, it's about being willing to maybe lie down on your back to like, look up and look at the photograph, or yeah, just looking up rather than just looking at the conventional way. This next one, it is a tree that I found while we were out on our daily walk and I tucked myself right up against the tree and I love that contrast of the rough bark and then just the light coming through the leaves above. Almost lets you know what it would feel like to be an insect on the ground. This is my son. Um, I, I was hoping we could get one of him kind of skidding to a halt just in front of me but um, I was a little bit nervous about that if I'm honest. So all I've done is I've lay on the ground and asked him to skate towards me but it's a really nice way of getting action shots if you can actually, if you're brave enough to let them get closer to you. Um, I'm working on that one um, as he works on his skills. And this last one um, is a great photograph, love this one. Really, really nice if you're thinking about doing a road trip because um, you can actually take this if you're going to make up an album afterwards this could almost be the start of the album couldn't it um, the map of, that you're using um, and that's it for today